Hello folks, I've returned and uh, I've opted for Silent Kill. I've decided to just go straight down the uh, insta-kill tree and just go for that. The game's got all these powers and honestly like Dominate was a... Uh, Domination was a good one. Uh, Regeneration's obviously okay, it's got its uses. Shadow Grip apparently kill enemies over distance and such but there wasn't really a whole lot uh, here I wanted to really use considering. Shadow Kill was probably the only one I kind of had an interest in, but I felt like, you know what, all these powers, I'm not really massively interested in most of them, so I end up just opting to just uh, try and go for a decent Shadow Leap and Instant Kill, so we'll just do that. So, let's uh, continue on our merry way. Ooh, let's, let's not stand out in the open like that, I mean, ah, uh, there's a few more guys here than I thought, honestly. Okay, so we got about, what, 10 guys here, I would say? I'm starting to regret not going for something maybe a little more useful. Oh, the loading almost caused me to jump out in the wrong spot there. But okay, can anyone see that from here? Not really. People's visibility seems a bit strange in this universe. That was a perfect, uh, oh. Yeah, that was actually a perfect kill and stuff there, but uh, if I step in this glass, someone's probably going to notice. If I jump out of shadow mode, I'll also probably be noticed. So I don't actually know if I have a way of getting past this without uh, somebody acknowledging that I did that. Hmm. Well, I'm going to try and jump over there. All right, no complaints about noise. Excellent. I don't know if this game rewards you with a whole pile of XP for, uh, for maybe not being, uh, you know, very, uh, very combatant-like, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Ah, please don't come all the way down here. Situation here. Yeah, we do have a situation here. Shut up. Did, did no one honestly hear him shout out and fire? Guys, there's a there's a gunshot immediately in the area. You you should notice this sort of thing. Also, where am I meant to go? Ah, oh, just below me, okay. Bottom floor, I'm assuming, after you get down to where that guy is. Like, there's a lot of extra people just sort of on my vision, but not important, really. I came all the way over here thinking, oh, maybe this is a way, another way down, but no, it's one of those stupid, there's a guy across the way type things, but all the doors don't work over there, because why would they? So, yeah, it was like, cracked glass over there earlier that I probably could have done something to, but I tried jumping past it, and that was the right answer. Hiding behind that pillar over there was not the right answer. Oh, there's a guy right there. Uh-oh. Okay, so we got him. There's another guy just immediately below as well. He's possibly in the view if I knock him down, so... That might be a problem. A couple of guys on the lower floors, but I'll worry about those as I get to them. It's weird though, there's no like double takedown or anything, which I find very strange because a lot of games would give you that opportunity. This one's just like, nah, you only knock out things one at a time. And you also hold to stay in a cover system. Blech. Where's that guy who I thought was down here? Well, either way, he's not here right now, so let me try and drag this body away before he figures it out. But, first person, and you drag so damn slowly. I think it might be the ragdolls of the game that's doing this more than anything, but jeez. It couldn't give me improved dragging speed or something? I feel like that would have been an inherently good thing to give a guy who's meant to be trying to stealth. 
the ability to, you know, dispose of bodies a little bit easier, or at least more efficiently. But I guess I'm just not old enough to have magical powers that include dragging off my victims quicker. But, he does wander off at least, which is good. It means I may be able to just catch him as soon as he comes around a corner. Uh, when he wanders off again. There he goes. Okay. I don't know how effective this knocking people thing is around corners, but... I'm gonna try it. There's a few guys down there, so I don't really want to knock him out while he's there. One of them's vaguely got enough line of sight to him. I don't, because there's a partial cover, but that, I don't know what that is. Banner, I guess. These guys stay way far out, so I can't even go up and just knock them out easily. Send back up. Just leave oh. He resisted my kill. Or the animation didn't go. And these guys are goddamn deaf. Well, that guy might not be. Come on. Nobody needs to know that there was a murder here. Which is a bit ironic considering the amount of corpses that speed around the level. But no one needs to know about a recent murder here. Come on. Man, the dragging is actually painful. The actual killing and stuff in this game is really... It's not as... It should be more satisfying than what it is. I mean, even the killing in, like, some of the other Hitman games was a bit more effective and just, just felt right compared to this. I don't know. Problem, I guess, with that, between that and this, is Hitman's at least a fairly fun game to play in a stealthy kind of way once you figure things out. Ragdolls are kind of fun, too. Sorry about the squeaking chair as well. It's been making more noise lately as well. Which has not been helpful. Okay. So I should not get this guy in no way he's like this. Because apparently, these guys are all very deaf. And their, vis their vision isn't the best either. Yeah, this basically is a game that seems to reward me going up and killing someone at the end of their A to B point. They're at A or B, kill them, and seemingly no one notices or cares mostly. There is a line of sight, but it doesn't seem to work a lot of the time. But it does work weirdly some other times, though. And I have no way of getting around to that high disappearing and reappearing body. That guy's not a fat security guard type. This guy was a relatively regular security guard type. I was lied to. Okay, I don't have distract. This guy doesn't seem to move in any form, shape, or way. And I can't sneak around behind him directly, at least not from here. So this isn't the way to go. But I don't really know what they want me to do. Because if that's one thing I've learned from playing a lot of stealth games the past few years. Is that the actual designers always feel like they have a single way they want you to go. Even if it looks like there's multiple ways. It looks like they only ever play test with any real attempt uh, the one way that they do want you to go. And sometimes it doesn't even feel like they do that right either. Like, right now, I don't really have a way of getting around here that would be stealthy. Like, stealthy enough to get me past this point. I make noise when I pop out of my, um, my, uh, teleport -y leap ability. Do I either have to trigger somebody now just to get onto this next part? Or I must um, have picked up a power that would be useful at this point. 
but I wouldn't have had any real indication as to which powers are more useful than others. And the tutorial in this game wasn't really the most effective at teaching me things. So, I don't know. I don't think, uh... I don't think this game really should have, um... Tried to sell itself as being stealthy whenever I don't feel like it really got stealth right. None of them heard that. I keep getting told by the game, oh, you make noise when you hop out of Shadow Leap. But I don't know how much noise it generates. But it doesn't seem to be very much. Okay, well. Sucks to be him, I guess. Those two are looking at each other, though, so the only real way I'd be able to deal with those two would be to use, like, a distraction or a charm or something. And I don't need to take out everyone. That's the thing I took a long time to figure out in games. Because I used to play a lot of older games where it's all like, kill everyone in the room before you can progress. So far, no reports from teams two and four. Team two is still advancing and has met some resistance, but I'm pretty sure they'll be able to take care of it themselves. I hope so too. Our time frame for this mission... Oh, was I meant to get close enough for them to have this chat? That locked doors will stop our target. How's security? Good, sir. I spoke to Alpha 2 five minutes ago. He's holding position and will report so, any news. Uh, I needed these guys to have this conversation yes, in proximity to me. Wow. Hey, shit, you Hi. I'm just gonna run up now and yeah. Okay, so this guy it looked like he was supposed to go through these doors, but and of couldn't. Oh, there's more people. Wait, there's more people? There's more people. Wow. They also don't actually have anything that rhymes with the word accuracy. And my range for this thing's still really crap, so I can't actually... I can't really aim up there very far either. Wow. Jump! Ow. Well, this is, uh, this is combat in this game. It's just thrilling to play, trust me. Oh nice, I could actually go up there. It's weird, this thing actually helps me to get up places, yet I've spent so much of it so far just going down areas, or just using stairs. I don't know, I feel like maybe if this game had a bit more time spent in the design phase, we would possibly have had a bit more of a game here that would be kind of fun, but... Yeah, I'm not really sold on it right now. Careful, it could be an ambush. Stay frosty. Wait for the hostile to go away. It's going real slow. You can see it in the bottom right corner. I was going to mention it before in the earlier part, but I kind of got uh, jumped by a guy and wasn't allowed to go into proper Careful, cover. Could be an ambush. Stay frosty. I do feel like I'm like the least stealthy vampire ever because my legs just sort of just hanging out here. This guy with any level of peripheral vision probably would notice me. Careful, could be an ambush. Stay frosty. But the bar does take a little too long to move and they don't really sweep or anything. Danger ground. Metal Gear Solid 2 kind of spoiled me by, you know, watching guards actually sweep an area and check for you and stuff. Careful, could be an ambush. The blood sucker's probably long gone. Everything's quiet this end. Okay. You guys just, just stand here now eternally. Was this what happened after I got them to do the talking trigger? There was two guys up there and then some more just spawned in behind me. There's quite a few games have pulled that sort of thing before. Never been a big fan of them doing it, but... One guy over there, but I don't think he's going to hear me when I feed on this dude. What was... 
Suspicious. Which will kind of an alerted kill. I also realized too, that I don't know if that door was open before this. Never checked. Either way, I don't care about bodies being found and stuff. It turns out that this game's uh, a little unfair with some of the uh, ways of detection and stealth and stuff. And I mean, that should be the one big point that you have to get right. Like, if you made a stealth game, you gotta get detection right, and you gotta get the ability to hide right. Rose, I just left some burglars behind me. They were looking for something, or someone. Then make sure you find Blooming and then get out of there as quickly as possible. Yeah, no signs of disturbance. Uh, guys Honestly, Blooming's not worth this, whatever the hell this is. Oh, hey, look, they put a body up in the corner like that. There's a box, there's a guy who wanders back and forth around there. There's an extra area off here. No, there's not. Uh, really hoping there's a bit of a big open area to check here. You hear me stomping around on glass? You see my arm half hanging out? They also don't come really close to the corners either, which is a small problem because getting the kill is actually really difficult because of it. He had the exclamation mark above him, but it didn't count as a uh, as an alerted enemy. Yet I can get exclamation marks above guys earlier who didn't have time to react and that counts as an alerted one. Like I say, fundamentally, you got to get your hide and your seek correct in these games. I think collision's really your key there. And uh, quite a lot of games of stealth I've been playing this past while, just they just don't really seem to get that. They just, I'm sure it's difficult as hell to probably create, but... If you're trying to be that ambitious, I do kind of hope you'll nail it. Still... I'm not sure about the mechanics in this game. I feel like if you just give me a gun instead of all these powers, I might have enjoyed this a bit more, but that's just me. The room I entered was well secured. Too well for my taste. Ooh. Jousting. Oh, some guys hey, enjoying the, the show. Here to look at the museum. Got it? Sorry, Captain. Some showcases are activated by motion sensor terminals. Be careful, for that can attract enemies. <sighs> this feels a lot like the first room again. Got two guys down there. Two more in the distance. One on my floor. Got one directly below me anywhere. Don't look like it. Okay. Weird techno-electrical uh, view is not my friend. How much time and energy did they spend putting stuff into the bloody exhibits? I'll bet you they spent more energy on that. There's broken glass there. The guy's just hammering at a panel. Down you go. No one will notice that one, that's fine. Is that a rake? Yeah, it looks like a rake. Ah, uh, good. This is uh, the mama bear, papa bear, and baby bear of piss pots, I guess. Uh, there's a scythe. Some generic tools and stuff. Cool. There's a bin so you can, you know, throw away all your em blank cards, I guess. Man. I remember the last time I went to a museum and I got hit with blank cards. Oh, there's a guy right there. Dang. Um, do you move anywhere? Does your patrol make you actually make any attempt to travel? If it doesn't, this feels unfair because I have no way of sneaking past this dude, really. Oop, that guy's starting to see me. Am I supposed to intentionally, like, step on the glass, make a noise, and have him come up here? Well, otherwise, I don't see how I'm meant to do this outside of having very specific powers. And again, if this is a stealth game, I should be able to try and get through this with the minimum amount of um, power-ups. You know, the option should be available for me to try and do this with just what I have, perfecting what I start with, rather than...
Okay, more talk of uh, the like new exhibits and stuff. Alright, so it looks like I pick up PDAs and they count as XP. Alright. Did you did you notice that? I just wandered over glass. Nope. Nope, you did not notice. Oh, you did notice. Or you're going to admire the death of that guy. Sent Alarm? What? I had A right next to him. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Well, on the plus side, I would have probably triggered the bloody thing whenever I walked past this display case anyway. Show yourself, beast! I'm not an X man, jeez. I'd be way more advanced. I need a lot more XP for that. Okay, but now I'm hostile. Everyone's now looking in one direction. Like, seriously, no one's really looking elsewhere. Ah, oh, someone actually noticed me. Okay. Ow. I simply get angrier when I run. Oh, hi. Yeah, that corpse probably got discovered, yes. Need some regen. I'll get him out of there. Cover me. Come out before the sun comes up. Okay, that one was actually alright. That's probably the only moment I've really enjoyed in this uh, combat so far. Was just decking that guy as soon as he got to the corner. See, that one was close enough that I could do that. A lot of the patrols in this game feels like they put the guards so far away from the corners on purpose. So you can't actually catch anyone on the corner. Which is a big stealth game mechanic, you know? If you, you know, if I can't hit them because they're not close enough to me on the corner then I should be given an action that lets me take half a step or even a full step out to hit the enemy before they get a chance to react, which should still count as a stealth takedown. Because they shouldn't know what's coming or anything. It should just be a really quick, without the reaction time actually being quick enough to, you know, figure out that I'm there, to knock them out, and, you know, even that would be fine, but... This game's not, uh, it's not like that, unfortunately. The dagger came into use as a weapon in medieval armies in the 12th century. It was Night 14 at the museum. Those guards are still sitting there. Very, 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 very annoyed. Some of their friends have taken the time to enjoy an exhibit. The Dark Age Museum uh, ex uh, exhibition is uh, going rather well. This uh, this rake that was upstairs has made it downstairs. So is this uh, other, I'm guessing, uh, farming tool. As you can tell, I'm very good at farming tools. But most people are here for the blades. Everyone wants to see the shiny, shiny blades. But there's a small problem, however. I can't use them because I have vampire powers that are superior to blades. Someone never actually saw the actual movies in Blade. Any of them. There was a trilogy of them. Pick one. They all had, like, Blade-related vampirism. And I'm not even on about the guy. There's plenty of guns and stuff, too, though. Right, so. This is fun. These two guys haven't really moved from their patrols since they've gone back. And I'm assuming that this might be one of those circumstances where I need to have stealthily gotten close enough for a conversation, which then begins people's patrols. I can't remember what game I noticed that in, but there was a game I played uh, about a, two or three years ago that that, that patrol rides wouldn't happen with certain characters until you were within proximity and then they wandered around themselves. 
might have been one of the spl earlier Splinter Cells, but I think it was some other game where guards didn't do their patrol routes until you activated their trigger. And their trigger was based on your proximity to them, which, you know, if you had them patrolling, you'd be more likely to actually try and approach them. So it was really backwards when that happened. And in this game, if that trigger happens because I knocked at some of the other guys instead, and now they've gone back and are still waiting for it, I'll never actually manage that. So that's going to be fun. Okay, I might have to just go for it here, annoyingly. Man, this is really fickle. You lost a man. Well, just running up to them and hitting A seems to be more than enough, I guess. Uh, so I'm naturally meant to health regen anyway, so I'm not going to waste this remaining heal because I'll uh, apparently just walk this off. There are, what, at least three guards in the next area, so that's nice, but no one follows me during these things. Hey, nice, uh, nice javelins. Yeah, so no one will follow me during these. Wait a minute, are they actually... I don't know if they're actually in proportion to the characters right now. I think javelin's maybe a little longer. Not sure, never really... I haven't really met an actual javelin, so who knows. Some armors, helmet... Oh, there's a different side room in here. With what looks like uh, some sort of royal jewels. Like Templar stuff. More more weapons I can't use. Though to be honest, you wouldn't probably use them, but still. Feels like I'm just being taunted. RF radio. So going into cover forces me into crouch as well. Which I find to be an interesting feature, but alright. There's at least three guys up ahead. The attack on the museum was strange. These burglars were too professional and too military, and they weren't trying to steal anything either. I was worried that they had the same target as I did. Blood. Well, yeah. I mean, who else would they be bloody here for? Like, the, we've literally learned that there's a Dark Ages exhibit and Blooming is here. And clearly they don't care about the Dark Ages exhibit. Well, one guy did, but he paid for it, so... And again, I must have murdered somewhere in the range of, what, 20 people, at least, since I got here? Vampires are super elusive, and there's no real evidence of them, and we try really hard not to give away that we're here and stuff. Really? Because I'm not, uh, not buying it. Oh. The headache suddenly came back. Okay. I couldn't concentrate. Everything was spinning. And all of the vampires have explained that there's a weird... Time. I had to pull White lady who keeps telling you what rest. to do. Who? Like, why doesn't the vampires mention that they're being the told what to do? Vanished from my mind as quickly as it had come, but the pain was gone as well. I had to hurry and find. Blue there was no explanation for any of these either. Like that again. Like no one's bothered to sort of go, yeah. And Eric hasn't managed to go, yeah. So do you guys get like weird headaches and? A woman in white shows up and just sort of tries to soothe you by telling you your name without you knowing what it is. Do any of you guys get that? Because I feel like that might be a unique thing to me. Now tell us where the director is. Spit it out, but I don't know. Tell me or I'll shoot you. That? You almost got me. Sorry, but I couldn't listen. Fantastic. Well, glad to know that we've confirmed they're after blooming. Interesting museum. Oh, wow. There's way too many people. I thought they were meant to have automatic weapons. Where'd they get them from? 
these are meant to be fat mall cops with pistols. Okay, that takes care of them. Secure the room. There are probably more on the way. The museum guards had beaten back the intruders. However, the guards probably wouldn't realize I wasn't one of them. Well, you're not one of them. Still my friend. And what darkness? You guys didn't even put on a light based system. Yeesh, even Batman had a bloody better association with darkness than this. That is a dumb amount of people. I'm not fighting all that. So I gotta get around to their side without annoying the everyone. I confess that I do think that the uh, stealth does need some work in this game, but you know, at least this area looks kind of fun. It clearly doesn't want me to. Uh oh, yeah, clearly doesn't want me to just try and just rush everything and just punch it with A like I did earlier. Problem is that I don't know if all the patrols are quite working. I feel like me not picking powers has. Uh, killed off my ability to progress. Oh god. Two guards within like spitting distance of each other so and their patrol routes aren't synchronized which is a small problem. That's strangely competent. Uh oh. Ow. Well this is an issue. This is a bit of an issue, yes. Do I get to keep that XP? Hello? Okay, so I died. That was embarrassing. Not really. So, we have a press B to skip the scene button. Pressing B. Okay, that takes care of them. Secure the room. Okay, that was a bit weird. B definitely the skips the scene, but it doesn't skip it in a intruders. natural way. That's However, a bit strange. Probably wouldn't realize I wasn't so yeah, um, maybe not that way this time. Uh, that looks like a way that's a bit too well guarded. Honestly, all these ways look a bit too well guarded, but there's only two guys up top, so let's check that way this time. I'm a liar, there's at least four up here. And they're all in a perfect straight line to each other. Man, I sure hit the jackpot. Actually, there might be a pot in one of these exhibits. I'm not allowed to use anything in them. And because they don't have a gun, I can't, like, shoot out a case and then they'll go, Oh, there's gunfire and also that display was hit. Someone check the display and someone else go ahead and look for the gun or something. Nope. I has vampire powers. That's it. I'm starting to regret not taking, like, Distract or Dominate or something. I feel like the tutorial maybe could have recommended one of the powers for me to begin with as well, just to give me an idea of what it would say would be a good choice. No? You don't feel like... Again, this feels like one of those things where a bit of playtesting might have uh, gotten this guy's patrol right to actually work. Because he just stands here looking the whole time. Hmm, okay. Feels like the game wants me to go one very specific route. I don't believe it's along the bottom. There's a few too many down there. There's not many off the left, but their patrol right seems a bit set. And this way over here feels like they're... Oh. My god, cover system. <laughs> Stop trying to get me killed. Yeah, it does feel like there's only so many people actually trying to patrol, which means that's probably the way they want me to go. There we go. But yeah. 
some of these games are really built with just one solution in mind. Um, a friend of mine used to like playing um, Death to Spies, which was a bit of a weird Hitman-y style game. And um, I remember that it was supposed to have multiple routes and stuff, but that game was really difficult and a bit... Um, uh, it seemed to be very specific about what outfit you could wear and who could see you and stuff. I felt like it seemed like it was supposed to be a harder Hitman game was the way he kind of always described it, but I always felt like it was just a more harsh um, stealth game, really. Now, is there anyone around here? There's two guys around there. This guy walking back and forth might be worth taking out. Maybe that was the trick. Maybe I was supposed to come down here, deal with this guy, get this roaming dude, and then deal with the two over there. Mm. There's two around the corner as well, but I don't know how much moving they do. So again, this feels like this might be very set as to what way they prefer me to do this. Which, I feel like a stealth game shouldn't be that rigid. I feel like flexibility should definitely be a thing. I don't think guards should have, like, the smallest patrol right ever, but if there's, like, this many guys in a room, having, like, two on each door wouldn't even be that surprising. Ladders over there and stuff, so, you know, it feels like level design-wise there was quite a bit of thinking involved, whereas, uh, actual stealth mechanics-wise, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'd agree with this being maybe all the efforts that I would expect. Like I say, it's probably very difficult to actually uh, make a stealth game like this, so it can't be too harsh. Drag him away and his gun magically vanished. Where did it go? Nobody knows! But yeah, I don't need to drag these guys too far away, but I do like... Um, Putting people a bit further out of reach than normal. Just because I know patrol routes don't come this far. Again, field of vision's a bit weird in some of these games. Sometimes it's miles long. That guy just started moving now. I don't know how much moving he normally does. That other guy over there, he doesn't look like he does any actual moving at all. Except for like Putting his gun down a little bit and then back up again. But, as I've had to point out a few times, you don't have to knock out everyone. Oh, I do need to hit the ground floor. Damn. Uh, going that way is pointless then. Like, I can't get down from there. At least not that I can see. I can kind of go down that way, but... There's at least two guards in that way. Possibly three. I go around that way, though. That still seems like the least guarded way. The big problem's that one dude down there. He doesn't look like he moves very much. Yeah. He's not that other exhibit. Hmm. We'll try. We'll try this way. Did you just say attention? You also fired your machine gun like three or four times, and the guy within five yards of you, well, slightly more than that, didn't even blink. Are they trying to say the lightning was, like, disguising that noise? Is that what they're trying to do? Because, I mean, I'd buy it if it was actually really loud, but I don't feel it is. Hopefully that's loud enough, really. Maybe a lot more booming and stuff. Ugh, more of these motion detecting bloody things. That guy doesn't move. At least not that I've seen so far. Might make a liar out of me in a minute, but... Do you just stare at that corner? No, you don't. Good. That would have been really silly if you just wandered into that corner and just glared at it. You do have a weird walk cycle, though. I'm not sure that feels like an actual walk people do. Ooh, 
The fact I can't tell what my character's going to do with the body after he does the kill command's a bit weird as well. Like, if I knew I was just going to just knock him flat where he's standing, that's fine. But there's times when I literally do a backflip and knock the guy a couple of yards back or forward, so... That's not really what you want in a stealth game. You kind of want a minor amount of consistency so you know what you're doing. Oh, there's another guy over there. Shh. Okay, alright. I need to take this guy out and preferably drag him around this corner. Mm, he might be seen though. Yeah, so some of my actual um, heading A things doesn't actually work. Yeah, okay, so apparently my kills can be just stopped at random. I'll try to jump over there and hit him really quickly, but the circle for jumping didn't come up at all. I didn't quite uh, knock him out because apparently sometimes your silent knockout can feel whenever they're alerted. Not too surprising in that sense, but it's just weird there's no visible animation to say so rather than I go to punch them and then I stop. Interesting museum. Anyway, I'll jump to hopefully the end of this room this time because I don't think there's much to see here beyond what I've done. The museum see you back shortly. Back the intruders. However, the guards probably wouldn't realize I wasn't one of them. The darkness was still my friend. Yep. Still your friend. Because you ain't got rose in your ear. Back soon. takes to drag bodies around this game is just nuts. We're gonna find you and finish you off. Attempt number eight. Guards probably wouldn't realize I wasn't 
Starting to really hate this stupid museum now. Still my friend. I've tried multiple different routes, knocking out multiple different people and so on. When I actually attack these guys is mattering now as well, because this guy over here, he's about to come up to that glass over there. Um, if you hit him and knock him out at that point, he kind of hangs over the glass and someone notices. Like that guy there in the center, he always does that. So he always seems to figure out that this guy's knocked out or whatever. And I can't seem to get in cover behind that pillar there. So yeah, um, for some reason, because I have no control over how hard I hit these guys and stuff, I'm actually not allowed to do anything about this. I'm without, I'm just outside that guy's detection range there, but that guy right there, always a problem for me at the moment with this bit, so yeah, if I knocked him out on the glass, he would just sort of hang there and this other dude would see it. So I have to wait and let him come all the way down here to then knock him out and then go on. Okay, that was all I wanted to say. Now back to your regularly scheduled editing. Corpse discovered! Oh no! Honestly, this might actually be the better case scenario if this helps me thin out the herd near the front. Because I really need more people to be, you know, away from the bloody exit. They're discovering all the corpses, and this isn't the stealthy way to do anything, but at this point, this is my way of dealing with things, because... I really don't have a whole lot of choice. But there is too many people. Definitely. There's way too many people for the first level and the first bit. Well, that works. I think I annoyed the everyone, but I made it. I just need a checkpoint now to kind of okay the fact I took out like half a room of people. Oh, there's an elevator. And there's a guard. Just one guard, it's just one guard, okay. Alright, that was some free XP, really. The PDA. Dear colleagues here, I'd like to inform you that I have had a conversation with Mr. Brown yesterday evening regarding the missing visitors. Oh, good. Visitors have gone missing. Fantastic. Unfortunately, the conversation apparently did not proceed according to his wishes, so much so that he abruptly quit and left our house very upset. When I later tried to reach him by phone, he was unfortunately unavailable. Meanwhile, his wife has had him listed as missing. I truly hope that he is fine and has since calmed down. Should he get in touch with any of you, please let me know. Not that something did indeed happen to him in the end. Man, that was that was some good PR you tried pulling at the end there, sir. Good good job. A lot of blood in here, but no, no body to indicate whose blood. Oh, there's this one guy here. He bled out pretty damn far. And underneath most of the collapsed things. So that's interesting. Okay, that's done. I finally cleared this stupid part. Whew. Rose, I'm in the elevator. So far, no sign of blooming. Knowing this is Beast, I wouldn't put it past him to be hiding in the basement. Beast? Oh, blooming is not only a vampire, he is mad as a hatter. And a textbook. Oh, good. Really appealing. Uh, now you tell me. Not like you would have had other options. <sighs> You're right. All right, I'll be fine. Did you just see that last room? I'm with you, Eric. But only on radio. Better than nothing. Good luck. Aww, do we have to?